Hello everyone, my name is Eza Khoshbacht and I'm from the Radiant School Chakwal. As a hybrid of my previous video, Parts of Speech, today I'm going to be talking of the kinds of nouns. Now, noun is name, place, animal or thing, as well as ideas or abstract concepts. I'll talk about four classes of nouns, common and proper, concrete and abstract, countable and uncountable, as well as collective and compound nouns. Now, a common noun is a general noun, any name, place, animal or thing. But a proper noun includes specific names. For example, a teacher is a common noun, but is a is a proper noun. A school is a common noun. It could be any school, but the radiant model school is a proper noun. A city is a common noun, but chakwal is a proper noun. A country is a common noun, but Pakistan is a proper noun. A concrete noun has a physical existence. It is something that can be felt, touched, seen. However, an abstract noun has no physical existence. It's a feeling, a quality. Reading the book, I felt wise. The book is a concrete noun. Wise or wisdom is an abstract noun. Countable nouns are simply nouns that can be counted. They have singular or plural forms. For example, a book, an elephant, three pens, Uncountable nouns are simply those nouns which cannot be counted. They cannot be measured. They are mass nouns. For example, water, coffee, love, a glass of milk. Glass is a countable noun. And milk is an uncountable noun. A bar of chocolate. Bar is a countable noun while chocolate is an uncountable noun. Collective noun names a group of things, animals, or places. A group of players is called a team. A group of wolves is called a pack. The zebra strayed away from its herd. Here, zebra is common noun and herd is collective noun. Compound nouns are made up of two or more nouns combined to form one single noun. For example, weekend, cupboard, grandmother. Thank you all very much. I hope you guys understood the lecture today.